Hi, my name is Justin Ramirez. I'm here with Cal TV Sports at Levine Frick Stadium for the women's softball game. Cal women's softball team is 21 and 2 this year, ranked number 11th in the nation. They'll be playing Arizona, who's ranked 18th at 22 and 6. This will be a good game, the second game of the series for the home opener for the Cal Bears. Let's see how they do this game. The game was held scoreless until the bottom of the second when Britt Vonk hit a two RBI single to score Yasmin Mejia and Danielle Henderson. In the top of the third, Arizona retaliated with four runs of their own by Kelly Fox, Trish Parks, Mo Mercado, and Lauren Young to take the lead four to two. Then Cal came back strong, scoring five unanswered runs in the third, fifth, and sixth innings to take Cal to victory and coach Diane Ninemeyer to her 1200 win. Of those five runs, Cheyenne Cordes hit a go-ahead two-run home run, a sidewalk slammer in the bottom of the fifth, while also finishing off the scoring with a two-RBI single, scoring Kylie Reed and Vanessa Alvarez. And that's the highlights for a great Cal women's softball game. We're going to go to Nasser Al Reyes for an interview with all-star Kylie Reed. Thank you, Justin. I'm here today with all-star player Kylie Reed. Kylie, great win today, great win for your coach. What were the key points throughout this game that you thought helped lead to victory? Uh, we definitely capitalized on a lot of their uh, mistakes. We had runners in scoring position. We clutched up. We got those runs in. It was just a great team win all around. Kai, last year you set a pretty high bar for yourself, being on the all Pac-12 freshman team and leading the team in hits and steals. What are you doing this year to exceed your expectations? Uh, for me, it was really just working in the fall. Um, practicing is the most important thing in anything. So obviously we're taking that very seriously and we're not going to come out and play each team differently. We're going to come out, same thing, same energy, and just go at them. Last year, you also started all 52 games. What are you doing this year to stay healthy and durable throughout such a long season? Um, I had an arm injury last year. I was battling that all through season. Um, we're definitely trying to stay ahead of it, trying to maintain it, going to rehab, therapy, all that good stuff. So, so last year, you batted at a very high batting average, and this year, you have another high batting average with a 385. What are you doing this year to continue to bring that batting average high and keeping it consistent? I'm just looking for my pitch every time I step up to the plate. Um, they're going to try and maybe give me some balls, try to make me chase. So I'm just waiting for that good pitch and put the ball in play and make them make a good play on defense. Nice. So this year your team has started off to a very, very good start, starting off 22-2. and two. What are you doing, what is the team doing, your teammates doing, to help build momentum toward the postseason? Um, that's for sure a huge thing for us, uh, especially going off of last year. Um, wasn't our great greatest year, but we're just pushing through. We're relying on each other. We all know we have each other's back, so it's really a team effort this year. All right, so you're on the dance floor. Your favorite song comes on, and what's your go-to dance move, and what's the song? Um, I'll dance to any song, really. Uh, dance moves, have a few of them. You want to show me yours while I do mine? I like to hit that whip and that nene. <laughs> That's all hey. I could do. <laughs> All right, so everyone's watching shows right now. What's the binge watch right now? Uh, for me, I'm on Netflix, Hawaii Five-0. Nice, nice. Sure. That's the way to go. All right, last question. What's your favorite thing about Bryce Teggs? <laughs> um, I'm sorry. There you have it, guys. <laughs> Tune in next week for the next episode. Thank you.